Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Twisted Paper Studio. Thank you for joining me. We're still going to be working on this medieval journal. I did go ahead and sew around the edges of the little uh, medieval flip. Oh gosh, let's get started. Well, first let me wish beautiful blessings. So I'm really apologizing about the video from yesterday. Um, my audio somehow messed up, so I had to do a voiceover. I do apologize about that. Anyway, I'm wishing beautiful blessings to Miss um, Cheryl Miller from Rogue River, Oregon, Town Square Studio. Um, she's a visitor from Leslie. Welcome. And Miss Maria Aurora Valdez. She's she's a new follower from TikTok. Welcome and beautiful blessings. Again, Cheryl, Town Square, Maria. I hope you have a beautiful blessed day. Okay, so let's get started. Now, I have my my um, front cover here and I want to attach these to this. It was printed out on um, cardstock type paper. So I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to attach it, so I'm just going to go. I'm going to use some fabric that I am going to do. And let me get the fabric scissors. Okay. And let's see. Let's move this out of the way. I hope I'm organized today and I have enough time to get this done. I want to attach the pages with you. And uh, yeah, that looks good there. Okay, so what I do is I take this side by side, just like that. And I attach it with a piece of fabric on one side and a piece of fabric on the other. So we'll start here. I hope everyone is well. I'm excited to start this whole project. I've been thinking up things, thinking and thinking and thinking. I don't know if I could think anymore, but I probably can. <laughs> okay. I use Fabri-Tac glue. It's my go-to glue. Well, let's make sure it's even and there's a little space in between so that it it can open and close easily all right and then we'll flip it over oh that looks so pretty maybe we'll do a contrasting color on the other side let's see Not a big enough piece. Oh, yeah, it is. That'll work. That will work. I don't know if I could rip this. No. It's a very um, vintage piece of linen. <clears throat> So beautiful outside today however I have no time to make my paper kind of sad about it but that's all right there'll be more days there'll be more days <clears throat> I'm getting ready to go to my boys because it's Mother's Day on Sunday so I'm trying to get some videos done before I go okay Let's see. Works. That works. That works. And now this side. Let's see. 
So it's going to fold out like that and like that. Hmm, do I want... Maybe I want the writing on one side only. Let me see. Yeah, maybe I'll do it opposite sides. <clears throat> so the person can have fun. They can have fun with the book. Turn it back and forth to put writing on each side. That will be fun. And you can write on this side too. Now... Do I want to put some of this on this side? Yeah, and then I'll do plain on the other side. That's what I'll do. Mix it up a bit. I do apologize in advance if anything happens to the video and I have to do a voiceover again. <laughs> I also apologize in advance if I have any coughing fits because my allergies are so bad. Yesterday I coughed so much. Today I've seemed okay. Sure, it's even and there's enough space. I need to flatten that out. <clears throat> it has like a crease in it. It doesn't want to go flat. Glue will help. doesn't want to go. And now it got crooked. Okay, wait a minute. Let's see. Oh no, it's even. All right, let's try this side and then we'll, I need some, I need it to stay stable. Yeah, I'm excited to go see my kids for Mother's Day. They have, I think we're going to lunch or brunch. It should be fun. It's always fun. Hanging out with them. Isn't it fun hanging out with your adult children? I'm, I wish they were, I wish I was closer or they were closer, one or the other. But it's not that way right now. That's all right. Maybe someday. Someday. I want this to stay down, but not fold down. Okay. That's good. I'll get it. Okay. Get all these scragglies off. I like to do this first before I put my signature in because <clears throat> um, then I have more room. Oh yeah, that looks nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Yay. All right. Now, put this in here. Okay, I have my digitals picked out. And I have some papers picked out. Okay, I probably have too much, but we'll see. And I also went ahead and did a diagram. 
um, for how I put my, um, on the larger books, how I, how I put my signatures in and how I measure. So I forget, I learned this from someone, but I do not remember who, someone on TikTok. Um, I use a piece of graph paper, measure it to the size of my spine. And then I find all my center points and all my points um, by folding it in half. And that will be my centers dots. And then I fold it in half again. And that will make the creases on the outside points. And then I fold it in half again. And then in half again. That's how I find all my dots <laughs> how I find it and you would just wherever you want to put your your um, signature um, you know your hole punches for your signature that's where you would um, ha that's how you would do it you would fold it up you could fold it in fours you can you can fold it up only half but that's how I find it so hopefully that's helpful to you and now we're gonna go, first we're gonna go ahead and put our signatures together. And then I will attempt to do this on camera with you. I hope that I can. Um, sometimes it takes me a bit to do. So we'll do this. So we have our, we have our digitals here. This is our first one. We will make this our second one and our third one. I'll just go ahead and do that, so. One here, well, it's got, yeah, one here, and do one here like that, and then we'll do this one here. Um, let me see. I have lots of stuff here. I have, we'll do. One here, one here, one here. I'm going to have to cut it down as well. We'll do this here. And then I have two envelopes. One here, one here. Okay. I'm not very organized when it comes to doing this, but I try. I try. Okay. Now we have book pages. So I'll do one here, one here, one there. We have more. So we'll do this after. And then we have, let me see, this is extra. Um, coffee dyed paper, coffee dyed paper. So we'll do one here, one here, and one here. Um, let's see what else I have. I have plenty of stuff to choose from. We will do. Whoopsie. All right, some graph paper. I like to use the graph paper. One here. And one here. Um, let's use this one in the center. I'm, I'm definitely going to have to cut these papers down, but for now, this is how we're good doing it. One here, one here, and we use the plain one on the end. Oops, there's two pages here. Okay, this is, <clears throat> this is antique paper from like, <laughs> I mean vintage paper. In like the 70s. Okay. Now, we have, what do we have left? Okay, so 
today on my TikTok, I made some onion skin paper. So I did put it in here because I was showing, I was showing a an example. So I made some of that. So I'm going to put, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to put one in each. Um, one in each signature, and I have another piece of, I have another piece of so I guess I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to uh, cut it down, but that's okay. One will go here. The, the um, inspiration came from this piece of tissue paper. I, I believe it, I have more of it, and I know, I believe it's from um, the early 1800s or the late 1700s, this tissue paper. I, I believe so. I have more of it. I, I'm not really sure, certain, 100% certain, but this was my inspiration, and I just love it so much. It's so beautiful. So, it's gorgeous. And I made, I made this tissue paper. This has the uh, tracing paper, coffee dyed with um, the lace on top of it. And then my sister and I were, you, we made walnut ink last year. So we were, I wrote this message on, send help, need supplies, don't trust letters written in peacock feather. We were using peacock feathers to write the, to write the messages. And then I just did my Harry Potter um, test and I got in Ravenclaw. <laughs> did anyone ever do the Harry Potter test online? I'm in Ravenclaw. <laughs> my sister is in, um, I think, Hufflepuff. Okay, let's go back to this. All right, so let me see how many pages we have here already. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh yeah, we have plenty, because I usually don't do more than 10 in a signature. I think that I might, I could fit in a few more, because we have, um, it's a lot of space there with the two and a half um, inches. So I probably could do some more. So let me, I know that I want to get some more in here. I have some book pages. So I'll do one, two, three, one, two, I did want to do some smaller pages. I really hope I have enough time to bind it. If I don't, I'll do it on the fast. I'll go and stand up and add the attachment to the um, to the video. I hope I do. I want to put some small pages in. And what else did I have? I'm going to put this one in here. And, oh my gosh, I think I have enough. I can always attach after if I wanted to add more things. I wanted to add this in. Um, So I'll add that, this one in here, um, and this one in here, and then this one in here. Okay, and that's about it. That's all I can do, I think. It's pretty much. Now I just need to um, attach these. So let's do that now. Well, I don't think I have any. I wanted some coffee dyed paper to attach them with. Let me see if I have some. I might. I might. I need something strong. Oh! I know. How about we use some <coughs> Florentine paper? I think that will be good to attach them with. 
Yes. I think so. I think it will work. Okay. It's very strong paper. Strong, strong, strong. Mm, do I want this to be at the top? Yeah. dry second and now we have to attach this one should I use a different one maybe I should use a different piece of paper why not should have folded it first. Let me do that. I'll fold it. Not that it's even helping because it's not folding straight. There we go. There we go. And I'm just attaching these, oops, that's too much glue. I'm attaching these so that I can put them in the signature um, and now they'll, they'll be attached. They'll be before I, before I sew in my signature. Let that dry and then we will do the other side. Give it a better hold. <clears throat> that looks good. I think that I wanted to do it the other way, but that's all right. There's a blank page on that side and a blank page on that side for writing. And then I'll go ahead and, why does this not look even? I'll go ahead and make these a little sturdier by collaging them once they're in the book. Right. How are you doing? How are you doing? Did you dry? <laughs> okay. Good. That's good. Maybe I will use um what else do I have? Oh, I have strip here. That's good. I'll use this strip. And I have something else. I'll use that strip for there. See? Scraps can work out in your favor. Okay, good to go. Do I use pink? <sighs> That's the one thing I'm not using in this book is pink. I'm just gonna use this. I'll just stick with what I got. Yeah, I'm not using too much pink. I hope my head is not in the camera. is strange for me because I'm always using pink. Always.
always. That's all right. My brain will adjust. All right, we'll let that dry. And then we'll do this side. Um, I need my other scissor. Oh, there we go. Can't go using um, we'll just cut this off because it's a little scraggly. Can't go using my fabric scissors on glued paper. No, no, no. Just can't do it. Alright. Alright, let's see what we got here. We got a lot going on. This is what happens when you when you, what's going on here? Did I not get enough glue in there? <clears throat> it seems I did. I just didn't press it down. And I don't know what I did with my card. <clears throat> here we go, losing things again. And I didn't even get started. where I was going to put each one, but that's all. All right, now we've attached them, and we have our signatures. Now we just have to put them together, and we close up my glues so I don't make a mess, and they don't dry out. Okay. Bring them back here and we'll put them in order. Oh, we still have to cut them down too. All right, so we have that is drying perfectly. Love it. And then um, I think I think I'm missing a page here. What happened to my other, I think I'm missing something. I think I might have combined, <clears throat> or I might be missing a, why do I feel like I am? Well, I'm gonna cry because I feel like there's a signature missing or I took from a signature. It's this one. I had three signatures yesterday. Three. And now it looks like I only have two. Oh no, this is my whole third one. Okay, I see what happened. The paper got mixed up. All right, I think. And I never took off the edges here. Okay, all right, we're back in business. I'm just unclear. I need to move these things out of the way so I don't get them confused like I just did. I don't want to confuse them. I think I want this one here and that one there. Alright, so this is a signature. I'll put that over there. This is a signature. Put that over there and we'll work on this one. Now we're good. We're back in business. And look, I only have very little time left. Ay, ay, ay. All right, so we're gonna put that in. We'll put this here. <clears throat> and then we're going to measure in the book and put this down here because that will fit okay 
what length do we need our signature pages? This is good. So we'll just face them all off this length. Okay. My no one need me. Alright, I'm gonna put the bunny in. My little bunny. She's so cute. Maybe I want to put her in the front. I think I do. Let's put her in the front. Put these in next. Put this in. There. So, yes. The bunny is the first thing you see. Maybe I will put this in the front. I forgot to measure the page. How many squares is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh yeah, it's eight by six, the book. How silly you are, Donna. Forgetful, Donna. Let's not take a little bit off the bottom. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. A little off the sides. Oh, sugar. Okay. There we go. Back go in. And this one I have to take off all the sides. So we'll do more off the top. Because there's a white border around it. Oh, and look. That tissue paper I just showed you. It's in one of my digitals. That's the same one. It's in one of my... It's in the medieval digital kit. It's so cool. Okay. Here we go. Perfect. All right, so now we don't want all the digitals together. So let's put in a piece of ledger. And we do need a center. So let's put in the flower. And bring it back here. And put in some coffee dyed paper, so, take a little off of each side, okay, I don't care if it's a little crooked, it doesn't bother me none, I think this book page is just the right size for the signature, I think so. Let's check. Yep. Yes, yes. It works good. Okay. Go back. And <clears throat> what else? How about a piece of book page? And I think we, I like this. So we're going to fold this back like this. It would be nice if it was straight fold. All right. And we will take off some of the bottom and some of the top.
pretty neat. Okay. Um, I'm going to add this. This was a piece of file folder that I coffee dyed on. So I can put something on that side. And let's see. Oops. Put this in here. And I'm going to try to save this top part here because this is really neat. This rips up. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. I can use this somewhere else in the book. And let's see. I'll do this one. And here. And then here. And then the, we'll make this the center. All right, let's see how this looks. I'm liking it. And how it fits. I'm going to have to go through and make sure it's, you know, the pieces are right. I'm going to have to go through each one and make sure that they're all centered correctly. But I think I like that. Yep. And make sure that I'm probably going to have to trim some of these down, some of them, or I'll fold them in. But I'm liking that one. All right, let's start the next one. That's one signature. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, and all these scraps are yummy goodiness, so don't get rid of those. No, no, no. All right, so we're going to the next signature now. And let me see, I took out that piece of paper. I liked it right here. Like that. All right. And we'll put a piece of book page in. And we'll put this in. And we'll put a piece of this beautiful imagery in. And blank paper, and graph paper, and coffee dyed paper, coffee dyed line paper, some ledger paper, some more imagery paper, and what do I want my center to be? Use that one. Book page. Um, we'll save the coffee dye. Now we need to attach this. We'll attach it. And then I'll go ahead and collage it after. It's in there. So it stays in good. I'll do all my work after it's in, it's fine. There, there, and then we'll turn this around for center. Okay, this is our next one. I'm gonna go ahead and cut all this down. My, my clock is running out. Maybe I'll do my next video with inserting the signatures. All right, that will be my next video. I won't, I won't do it. I won't do it without you. Okay, so now we have, um, let's 
see. We'll start with some book page. And our little flippy we just made. Okay. How about a piece of the ledger paper? Right, yeah. Ledger paper. And writing paper. Coffee dyed paper. Book page. We have another little envelope here. I'll just finish this up with you guys and then I'll do another video to show you how to attach the page. Show you how I attach the pages anyway. There's so many videos on putting in the signature. Okay. There. Some coffee dyed paper. Um, more book page. Um, let's see. Where do I want this? I want that. I think I'm going to do that in the front again. Let's do this here. Yeah, like that. Yes, yes. 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 Hmm. I'm going to do her here. I may go print another digital <clears throat> for each, for each one. Well, not, you know what? I don't know. I guess I don't have to because I'm going to have so much to put in here. I really don't have to do that. I'll put this in here. Actually, we'll leave this out. And put that in there. And put this in here. And... My center. And here. Like that. There we go. Boy, these are gorgeous. All right. Now, we have three signatures. Three. Three big signatures. <laughs> there we go. That's the third one, the second one, the first one. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to trim all those down, not on camera. I don't have to do that with you on camera and waste time. But when I come back and I do the video again, I will insert the signatures. I did want to show you, though. I plan on, I plan on putting, let me see, I think this, yes, or I had this too, let me see, I think this is too heavy, yeah, it's a bit too heavy, yep, yeah, I'm not liking that. Okay, so it's this one. When I attach my, whoops, when I attach my signature, I'm going to put this in here and attach it in the book. I think that looks really cool. Yeah, I like that a lot. <coughs> Excuse me. So then you, you turn the page like that, and that'll be sitting on top. I like it. I like it. All right. So we did that part. We attached our medieval window. We're going to decorate this book all up with bunnies. All, all, all up with bunnies. And I did want to say one more time and wish beautiful blessings to uh, Miss Mary, Mary, Mary Thompson from Cedar Hill, Missouri. Um... Oh, no, wait. Was that? It was yesterday. Mary, you're getting double blessings. Okay, I'm sorry. Miss Cheryl Miller from Rogue River, Oregon. 
Town Square Studio that came over here and visited me from Miss Leslie. She's at the 507 Willow House Journals, Miss Lovely Leslie. And um, Maria Aurora Valdez. She's a follower for me from TikTok. I'm wishing you all beautiful blessings. Thank you so much for watching and following and supporting me. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so if you like my content. Um, I'm really, really excited about this medieval journal that I'm starting. Um, and yeah, I, I hope you all stick around and watch me make the journal. And again, thank you so much for the over 500 subbies I have. Yay. Thank you. Have a beautiful blessed day. And the next time I see you, we'll be inserting these um, signatures into the book. Thank you again for watching. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.